cookware doesn't get much simpler than a saucepan. This is basically a bowl with a handle and lid, but it also doesn't get more important since you use a saucepan to cook everything from soups and sauces to pasta, vegetables, grains, custards, and puddings. And when it comes to performance, we found that differences between saucepans can be surprisingly significant. So we bought 10 large saucepans, all three to four quarts, in a variety of styles and materials. They were priced from $19 to a whopping $215. And most of these were fully clad, meaning the entire pan is made from three or more layers of bonded metal, such as two layers of non-reactive, slower heating stainless steel sandwiched around a core of faster heating aluminum. This helps the pan heat evenly and reasonably quickly, but it tends to be pricey. So we also included cheaper options. This disc bottom pan confines the three layer metal sandwich to a disc attached to the bottom of a single layer steel pan. This pan is anodized aluminum, meaning the surface was hardened and darkened to make it tougher. And these are thinner aluminum with nonstick coatings. Now in each pan, we conducted a whole range of typical cooking tasks. We stirred, scraped and poured custard, we made rice pilaf by softening onions and cooking rice. And we made browned butter to see how evenly and steadily the pans heated and turned the butter brown without burning. We timed how long it took to boil water, blanched green beans, and then assessed what it was like to pour out that boiling food into a colander. We also asked a variety of testers to try boiling and pouring out water from each pan. And we washed the pans by hand after each test. A few of them trapped water or food in nooks and crannies, and that is not okay. One of the most important things about a good saucepan is how clearly it lets you observe the color and texture of the food you're cooking, especially when seconds matter, like with brown butter. If you can't see what's going on, your butter is going to turn into a blackened mess, and foods like custards will overcook. Pans like the Tramontina Domus have a rounded shape with higher curved-in walls that make it much harder to see the bottom. Another problem, dark pans, like this anodized aluminum and these nonstick pans, they lack visual contrast to let you judge browning easily. We literally couldn't see, so we had to pour off the butter into a clear bowl to be sure we hadn't gone too far. The best pans had light colored cooking surfaces, straighter sides, and wider openings that let us see and control the cooking. Thinner nonstick pans and the anodized aluminum pan ran into trouble with uneven heating, and so did that pan with the narrow disc bottom and bulging walls made of thinner steel. Foods overbrowned around the thin edges of the pan that were unprotected by the thicker bottom, which heated first slowly and then too fast, so we had to keep turning down the heat. The fully clad pans heated much more evenly and steadily, making cooking easier and more reliably successful. Now the width of the cooking surface mattered too. This pan by Tefal is a little narrower, so foods piled up and browned unevenly. Our higher rated pans were wide enough to let food like onions spread out in a single layer. Handling is a very big deal with a saucepan. It's gonna feel comfortable to lift and maneuver since you often need to be able to lift it steadily for controlled pouring or hold it up with one hand while scooping or scraping out food with the other. Now I'm a weakling, I admit it, but some of these pans were so heavy. This pan by Henkel's weighs almost five and a half pounds empty. Other ones felt off balance. The handle and pan didn't really work together well and they made us struggle. And the handles themselves were an issue. For instance, smooth, rounded handles, they feel great in the store when you're shopping, but then they rotate in your hand when you're holding up a big, heavy, hot pan full of food, which is scary. Now the cup-shaped handle on this pan by Allclad is not cushy, but there's a reason. That shape literally locks it into place in your hand, so it stays put. It also stays cool, even when the pan's on the stove for a while. So you don't even need a pot holder most of the time, and I love that. Some of these pan handles became red hot, we also really like lid handles that are large and stay cool. This little tiny knob on the Le Creuset got hot and it was hard to grab. Glass lids seem really useful till they steam up and you can't see. And no way are they gonna be as durable in the long term as an all metal lid. Now after all the cooking tests were done, we did some abuse testing. We heated the pans and we plunged them into ice water. This causes thermal shock to the metal, similar to when you put a hot pan under cold running water. Few of the pans became slightly warped. Then we whacked them on a concrete step to see if they dented or if handles started to wiggle. Some pans dented, but our top rated pans emerged nearly good as new, and they're the ones that are gonna to be tough enough to last you for years. In the end, the all clad stainless four quart saucepan proved why it has been and still is our favorite. It's fully clad for uniform, steady, but efficient heat. In fact, it was one of the fastest to boil water, and it was the quickest of all of them to return to a boil after we added food. Its light-colored interior and wide cooking surface gave us great visibility. 
Its weight and balance hit the sweet spot between sturdy construction and comfortable handling. Its simple steel lid is durable, as is its nice stay cool handle, which isn't cushy, but stays secure in your hand. It survived abuse with almost negligible dents, and since we've used it in the test kitchen for nearly a decade, we know its track record. At $179, this is not the cheapest pan, but it's worth it. And if that's too much to spend, we do have a best buy at about $65. It's called the Cuisinart Multiclad Unlimited 4 Quart Saucepan with Cover. Its interior is bright and it makes it easy to monitor cooking. And its lightweight body is easy to handle, but the trade-off is durability. This pan showed a little more discoloration and wear after testing, but given that it costs about a third the price of the all-clad, it's still a great choice.